In the evening, she walked to the barbershop at the corner of the street and pulled out her comb. Her beautiful fair hair fell below her waist. What beautiful hair, exclaimed the barber. How much will you give me for it, said she. Ten francs. Cut it off. She bought a knit skirt and sent it to the Theonarders. This made the Theonarders furious. They gave the skirt to Eponine, and the poor lark still shivered. Fantine thought, my child is no longer cold, and I have clothed her with my hair. Alright, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Fantine and what has happened up to this passage point that I have just read. Um, so throughout the book, Fantine struggles very much with supporting herself and Cosette, and that is a big part of the beginning of the book because she is struggling so much that she has to send Cosette away to an innkeeper and his wife because she cannot support Cosette alone. So she has a job at a factory, and and when the people at the factory learn that she has the job to care for her child, they quickly con conclude to fire her, and so she has no more job. And so by this point, she has to sell her hair and her teeth to receive money to send to the Theonarders for Cosette because Cosette needs the money for food and necessities and whatnot. A lot of the times, the innkeepers will send Fantine letters um, saying that how much they need, how much Fantine needs to send this time, and every time Fantine receives one of those letters, she's heartbroken that she cannot provide for her own. This time, the innkeepers asked Fantine to send in 10 francs for a woolen skirt for the cold weather for Cosette. And of course, Fantine was like, oh, this is reasonable, so I'm, I need to get 10 francs for Cosette, and I need to send it in ASAP. So one day, she walks into a barber and asks one of the barbers um, how much they would give her for all of her hair. And they say 10 francs. And Fantine says, okay, well, then I need you to cut it off because I need my 10 francs for my child. So they cut off her hair, and she receives the 10 francs, and shortly after... She goes out and buys a woolen skirt and sends it to the Theonarders instead of sending them the 10 francs. This made the innkeeper so angry. So they made, so they gave, when they received the skirt from Fantine, they gave the skirt to Eponine instead of Cosette. They gave the skirt to Eponine, one of their own children, instead of giving it to Cosette, just so she can suffer because of what Fantine did. I chose this passage because it really shows how far Fantine will go for her child. And it's just unusual in this case because like any mother, they would do anything for their child. But Fantine has never learned how to love anyone. Throughout her whole childhood, she hasn't been loved by anyone. Her parents abandoned her and when she got older, she fell in love with an older man. And when that man found out that she was pregnant, he quickly cut her off and abandoned her. Love. Any mother would do anything for their child. Amazing things, as in buy them cars for their 16th birthday and buy them um, clothes that they want, that they don't even need, that they want. But Fantine is so amazing because no one has taught her how to love. And just by her putting her past behind her and coming through and being able to love this child like no other is just amazing to read about. What I've learned from this passage is that no matter how far your family is or no matter what situation you could be in or possibly be in, your family will always be there for you no matter what happens. They will always love you and they will always care for you no matter what. And that just amazes me how Fantine can do that for Cosette and not feel any regret or anything. Thank you.